Hello, my name is Fabian Lavat. I am a solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. In this video, I'll show you a short demo of the AWS Resource Access Manager console. AWS Resource Access Manager, or AWS RAM for short, lets you share your resources with any AWS account or through AWS organizations. If you have multiple accounts, you can create resource centrally and use AWS RAM to share those resources with other accounts. For my example, we'll use three accounts under the same organization. The resource owner account will share a subnet with the other two accounts. This will let all three AWS accounts to launch their application resources into a centrally managed VPC. These resources include Amazon EC2 instances, Amazon RDS databases, Amazon Redshift clusters, and AWS Lambda functions. If you would like to share resources with other accounts in your organization, then you must use the AWS RAM console to enable sharing. Go to the AWS RAM console, and from the left menu, click Settings. Select Enable Sharing within your AWS organization, and click Save Settings. We are now ready to share the subnet with other accounts. From the left menu, click Resource Shares. Click Create Resource Share. Provide a share name like Share Subnet. Under Resources, Confirm that you have selected subnets as the resource type and select one or more subnets. In my example, I'm sharing the private subnet. Now under Principles, uncheck Allow External Accounts. If this option is disabled, accounts outside your organization cannot gain access to the resources. We can see organization accounts by clicking Show Organization Structure. We can share the subnet with individual accounts, an entire OU, or all accounts under the organization. In my case, I'll share the subnet with the dev and pre-prod organizational units. You can also add optional tags to the share. And to create it, confirm by creating resource share. Let's log into one of the accounts we share the subnets with. We can see the share subnet under share with me, share resources. Notice how we are logging into account ending in 9248, and the subnet owner is account ending in 2136. Now, for example, for the consumer account, we can launch an EC2 instance in the shared subnet. We select an AMI, select an instance type, and from the instance details, choose the subnet shared with us. In my case, I will launch the instance without a keeper. Here are some additional resources to get you started, including the AWS RAM homepage, documentation, and our cloud security hub. Thank you.